Hello. See you again. In this video we're going to use the pencil tool to both line and color in vector mode. Let's get started. First set the line width and color you want for your character, and start drawing from the main area. Someone asked me about the black buttons on the side and top of my screen are? They're Wacom screen controls. I use them to avoid moving my wrists and arms too much and they work quickly for me. The order of the layers is also important. You can move layer by click and hold dragging it up or down. To paint in vector shape, select the desired area, click the insert inside the selection button at the top, and then use the pencil tool, pen tool, or draw various shapes inside, it works like a clipping mask. Working in vector mode make it easy to change the colors and shapes and it also ensures high quality results. It's suitable for character's design. I use this method to design cartoon characters, mascot. Besides that, I draw for fun and to continually improve my skills. You can always edit the lines and shapes or using the pencil tool sculpt mode to edit them. For more details check out my channel's video on the pencil tools. That video will teach about the basic use of pencil tool, which the beginners can watch and then apply in their own work. Now, let's add a shadow. Select the area where you want to add. Click the insert inside the selection button. Draw a shadow, and choose multiply for the shadow, and overlay for the highlight. You can also copy this shadow style and paste it into another shape. Using the paste style option in the edit menu, We use multiply layer for shadows, because when we change the character's colors, we don't need to redo the shadow color, it remains in the same tone. Besides the pencil tool, there are many tools for coloring, including the pen tool, gradient tool, and transparency tool. If you don't like the line style, go to the brush panel and choose a brush style to apply to the stroke lines. Unlike the brush tool you can set the brush style from the start to draw. You can draw lines and paint in both designer persona and pixel persona. We can add a new pixel layer inside the vector shape. By clicking the insert inside the selection button at the top, then click new pixel layer. Now we can paint with the pixel layer inside the vector shape. Like a clipping mask.
hope you find this video helpful and can apply these tips to your workflow. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again.